Hello Distortions Unlimited fans, Darren here again. Again, talking to Dave on the way home because we got long commutes so we talk mask a lot of times. And we brought discussion about the Shadow series. Well, the Shadow series, as you know, was probably brought around in 1985 was the first time they were introduced. Uh, intended to be a lower uh, cost line than what the Twilight series and Infinity series was costing. Those ran about $75 for the 1980s, which was a lot of money. So these Shadow Series masks were designed to be about $25 to $30 um, as distortions became more prominent in the Halloween industry. Uh, they were being sold at places like Sears and Spencer's and also being sold through some of the Fangoria magazines. I have a few we're going to go through. Uh, I'll try to shoot a video and show you all the ones I have in my particular collection. Uh, some of them are in pretty good shape some of them not so good shape but again the shadow series uh, again novelty item uh, hard to find them so if you can find any go ahead and pick them up let's go ahead and start with the most popular ones which is going to be hack hack is one of the gore series that was found in the back pages of fangoria um, just a classic chainsaw victim which made it pretty popular and an attractive price tag I think was $29.99 but Hack up there was one of the most famous from the Gore series at a cheaper cost. I encourage you to watch David Lady's video of a trade show that has Ed and Jim Lawrence at it. And David Lady goes through with Ed talking about some of the Shadow Series masks from that year. I'll post a link in the comments below. But anyway, Hack was a good seller. Uh, following on, I think that's Mangold and then Gusher. Uh, Gusher was also retooled later. For a Fright Stuff line, uh, his name was Grinder, and the way you tell that one is take off the tongue here, uh, retool in a cheekbone with some teeth, and you have Grinder. Alright, continuing on, some of the Gore series, uh, got staked right here, uh, and then continuing on, another one that was found in Fangoria was uh, Pierce of Vain, very good vampire. Uh, I loved how the mouth was wide open and had red eyes. Saw that one a lot when I was a kid, just wanting to have it in the back of Fangoria magazines. Finally got a good copy of it. All right, one of my newest additions is this, uh, oh shoot, forgot his name now, looking at him, uh, Ripper. And one of the few blue masks I have from Distortions. And then I See You, a terribly hard mask to find. Um, kind of was an inspiration it looks like for Mikey's take where you had the first mask called Blink and the Monster of the Month series you'll see him over my shoulder right there boom all right continuing on what we have all uh, right bad boys something that came a bit later I got a white and a black bad boy I got a Republican elephant that came out about 1995 and then this bat mask right here this bad boy is about 12 inches apart, hard to display. Just got him recently too. Uh, kind of unusual, there's some props that have uh, this same head, so uh, if you can find these, they're still around. Good little mask. All right, next one we're gonna talk about some werewolves. I know y'all like werewolves out there, so let's see what the Shadow Series werewolves look like. All right, let's start with the, the most famous ones. Here we have Hellhound one. He can be found with either eyes painted like this with circles or he had red eyes um, on some mask copies that I have also. And then you have Beast. And that was also one that was found in the back of Fangoria magazines with this counterpart, Hydra. Hydra is a, a fun one to find too. It's got that, that yellow sick hair. One of the few sea creatures that Ed made in Distortions Unlimited. I think that were probably two with Hydra and Amphibagore being about the only two sea creatures that Ed made. All right, continuing on, Soiled Rotten. Um, this one was found in Spencer's Gifts in the Fright Stuff line. Uh, so it was a common one to find in the malls. And then we have a Air Corpse. Uh, this particular copy is kind of going hard, like my evil lord. Uh, the black additive that was in the latex is causing it to go hard for some reason. But trying to save them the best I can. All right, Brother Grimm right here with its uh, blacked out tooth for some reason. Kind of an odd feature I always found on that mask. 
And then we have uh, Decay. Another fun mask. My mom used Decay as a kind of a phantom of the opera, playing the piano. Should post a picture of that one too. All right. Uh, let's look at some uh, lower level ones I have down here. We have a, a Sight Bite, followed by an Imp. Um, I got a Ghost back there. An Ancient Evil. We have uh, Stitches. Uh, way back there, I have a copy of Frightmare. Uh, if you want a Frightmare, jump on eBay, search for it. Morse Costume still has some in stock, around you about twenty dollars. Hey, it's a Distortions Master, twenty dollars. Can't beat that with a stick, right? All right, and the last ones I'm going to show you guys are these dinosaurs. I have all four of them that was listed in the 1992 catalog in the Jurassic Park fame. I got a Triceratops. Followed by a Ankylosaurus, that was kind of the fat body one, uh, had a shell like a turtle. And then, you're going to make me mess this name up, a Pachycephosaurus, the bony head mask. Um, and then, of course, a nice classic T-Rex. And I think that's about it for the Shadow Series. If you can find them, add them to your collection, guys. And again, David, if you have any more questions about masks, you know who to call, your brother. Take care, guys. Talk to you later.